All right, so this has been giving you all a little bit of trouble. So hopefully with the highlighters, we can make it a little easier. Our first one is a secant, secant angle, which means that we need to find two secants. And there are only two secants in the entire picture. They are ZR and XR. Together, they make an angle. The important part here is that R is the vertex of that angle. So when I write it, I'm going to either write it as angle Z R X or angle X R Z because that would include the secant which goes through the entire circle. So it's a chord inside the circle and a point outside the circle and X R, which includes the chord XV and goes to the point outside the circle. Either way, R is the center, or R is the vertex, so R has to be the middle letter. Our next one is a chord chord angle, and there are several that you can find here. So we want two chords. Notice that this one right here, X, Y is not a chord, that's a radius. A chord has to go from one end of the circle to the other, so it has to be two points on the circle. So we could call X, V our chord and S, T our chord. If we used those two chords, then we would have these one, two, three, four angles, all with a vertex of N. So I'm not gonna write every single one of those, but it would be something like X, N, S would be one of those chord chord angles. If I wanted to check out a different chord, I could look at um, Z, T would be the other chord in this picture and then again, X, V. Now I t probably would not use this particular chord in this picture because there is no letter for this point here in the middle, which would be the vertex. So I would likely use the first pair. And then all the important part is, is that N would be your vertex. All right, the next one is a tangent, tangent angle. Tangent, tangent, and this is twice on here, so we don't have to do it twice. Uh, you only have to do it once, so you can mark out number five. So our tangent tangent angle is going to be made up of, you guessed it, two tangents. We only have two tangents here. We do have to add in this letter A and this letter B. We did that in class in order to be able to name those endpoints. Now you could just name the tangent points, the uh, Z and the X and that would be sufficient as well. So on our tangent tangent angle, it's gonna go, here's my one tangent, so it barely touches the circle, and here's my other tangent, barely touches the circle. So again, big important part here is that W is my vertex this time. So if I named this angle, it could either be angle AWB, or angle B, W, A, or Z, W, X, or B, and so on and so forth. Notice in all of these, my middle letter is a W. That's the important part. Okay, the longest chord, remember a chord has to connect two points on a circle, and our longest chord is always gonna be a diameter. So Z, T would be my longest chord here, Z, T. And so when I name that, I'm gonna name it Z, T with a line segment over top. The inscribed angle has to have a vertex on the circle and is made up of two chords. So the two chords that I would probably use for an inscribed angle here would be something with a vertex of T. No other points, or I guess a vertex of Z would work as well. 
So the other points on the circle, this X point on the circle um, doesn't have two chords. It has a radius and a chord, which would be different. So if we went with this guy, S, T, Z, that would be the inscribed angle. And so I would name that angle Z, T, S, or angle S, T, Z. Again, the big part being that the vertex is in the center and the vertex is our T. We could also instead look at the other angle that has a vertex on the circle, which has a Z, so it's S, Z, T, same letters, but this time the Z is in the middle. So that would be S, Z, T, and you could switch the letters around as long as Z stayed in the middle. A central angle is gonna be an angle where the vertex is at the center. There are two central angles. There is this guy, X, Y, T. So if I wrote it, it would be angle X, Y, T, or T, Y, X. The other central angle would be the one with Z over there. So Z, Y, X. Again, Y is in the center. So Z, Y, X. As long as Y is your vertex, then you have a central angle because Y is the center of the circle. All right, a tangent and a chord angle has a tangent and a chord. There are several here that we could use. Um, again, we do need to grab that A here and that B here in order to be able to do this. So we need a tangent, we have two tangents. So if we used X as our vertex for the tangent chord angle, the tangent would be B, X, and then the only chord that connects here would be X, V. So I would call this angle B, X, V or angle VXB. So I could switch it as long as X is my vertex. If I wanted to use, oops. If I wanted to use, let's get our B back there. If I wanted to use the other tangent, so if I wanted to use this guy, Z would have to be the vertex and I could go with this chord over here or I could go with that diameter of a chord. It would just change the other letters. So I could call this angle AZS or SZA. Or if we chose the other chord instead, this guy, it would go all the way to T, and you would want to go all the way to T. So it could be A, Z, T. Okay, a tangent segment here is going to be a segment that has the tangent. So it starts at the tangent, point of tangency, and it goes out to a point outside. So it could go X, B or it could go the other direction, X, W, but it's the point of tangency and then the point outside the point of tangency, outside of the circle. So it could be X, B, or it could be X, W, or I could go over here and instead of using these guys, I could use could use this side, ZA or ZW. So I could go the other way. ZA or ZW. Either of those would be fine. Our second segment is going to be from the farthest point of the secant all, to, all the way to the point outside. So if I were looking at 
that secant that I have highlighted, it would be CR or RZ. If I were looking at the other secant in the picture, which is XR, then instead it would be this guy. So it would be XR or it would be RX. Either way, we would have the bar over top. Our next one is gonna be our radius. Our radius is just going to connect the center of the circle to a point on the circle. So that's gonna start at Y, and it's gonna go to X, or Y to Z, or Y to T. Any of those would be fine. So Y, X, Y, T, or Y, Z, you can switch the order. The diameter is gonna be, again, our longest chord, so it's the same thing that we've already talked about. It's just talking about it with a different language. So we already know our longest chord is the diameter, and so our diameter is Z, T, and so our diameter is Z, T. The major and minor arcs are going to be along the edge of the circle. So along the circle. So I'm going to say my minor arc is going to be less than 180 degrees. And I lost my color code here. So it could be a lot of things here, you all. As long as it's less than 180 and it's two letters, ZS. You could call it SV, you could do VT, you could do ST, you could do VX, you could do TX, you could do ZX. So any number of those would work as far as a minor arc goes. So for my minor arc, which I skipped to number 14 on accident here, um, I'm not going to write them all, but it could be ZS. It could be S, V, it could be S, T, oops, I want that to be a little arky symbol. Um, it could be X, T, all kinds of different things that we just named, so dot, dot, dot. When I'm talking about my major arc, my major arc is going to be bigger than 180 degrees, and so on my circle... Again, there's lots that you could use here, but let's name a few. Come on, computer. So I could say anything bigger than 180. And remember, ZT is our diameter, so we want to go past that. So I could go ZTX. That would be a major arc. And I could call it Z. TX or ZSX or ZVX, but Z and X would be our endpoints, and any of these three points could be the middle point that you used to name the major arc. So if I write that down, I would write ZVX with my arc -y symbol over it. Now, that's just one option. I could also. Take a different starting point. So I could go S, T, Z. And again, or S, V, T, or S, X, S, X, V, Z. Any of those would work as well. So S, T, Z. If you want two extra credit points on your test, Right, geometry is the best on the last page. All right, a chord, remember, has to connect two points on the circle. So S, T would be the chord. Or it could be X, V is a chord. Or we've already talked about our longest chord of Z, T. Or it could be Z, S. So anything that connects two points on the circle is a chord. So... Right here, we would write either S, T, or T, S, or it could be Z, 
t, or it could be v, x, or it could be z, s. And those are all line segment symbols on the top. So there is your first section.